happy Sunday. It is May 19th and we are halfway through the month of May, almost to the end of the school year. Can't believe it. Hope you guys are all doing well. And for those of you who came out yesterday to our pop-up sale, it was great to see you. And um, Cassie and I, we had a lot of fun yesterday. It was definitely hot. <laughs> um, I don't think we were prepared for that, but it's getting hot quickly. Um, so thank you for those of you who came out to see us. We definitely loved seeing all of you. Um, just going to give it a couple of minutes to pop up into people's feeds here. I was having technical difficulties, so I'm sorry for the delay. All right. If you're watching, say hello. Give me some hearts. Let me know you're here. And I will get started here in just a minute. Okay, we've got audio, we're good. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started. This is your June Club Create. I hope that you love this as much as I do. I saw this bundle on um, at OnStage in Houston and I immediately fell in love with this. It is different. It's definitely out of my normal realm, right? I like the girly stuff and the cutesy and all of that. This is different. This is more focused on those um, masculine cards that a lot of us have a hard time Kind of designing and coming up with ideas so i hope this gives you inspiration i hope that you um you subscribe to the june club create as a um just a refresher so club create is 41 dollars per month it's sent directly to your house it includes this month it's a half pack of the designer paper you get these awesome um they're not gems this month they're actually trinkets and you'll be able to use them on a ton of different masculine cards. I hope you really love them as much as I do. And you will also get a, um, a full pack of the linen thread. So um, you're gonna be able to do a lot of stuff with these products. And um, that's the idea. So I designed the cards and the projects and I cut all of the projects for you. You're gonna get two of each of the cards. And you're also going to get a written tutorial of all the measurements so you can go back in and create more. You're going to get a link to um, the video so you can kind of replay that, back it up, play it again. You'll have access to that forever for as long as it lives out on um, the internet. Um, so you can create more. So with that, let me go ahead and... Hey, Marielle, how are you? Thanks for joining. Thanks for stopping in live. I am going to point you down and we will get started. Um, one other thing I'm going to mention is right now, um, during the month of May, Stampin' Up! is really, really, really sweetening the pot to join my team. So what that looks like could be a discount shopper um, for you um, where you get everything at a discount, 20 to 25% off. Besides, you get prizes. We do all kinds of fun um, gatherings together and online. Um, you get the benefits of my team, the benefits of our broader team across the country. It's really awesome um, when you join Mission with us and really we're, we're just having a great time. So what Stampin' Up! is doing, you get $125 for the product that you choose for $99, free shipping. You get a paper pumpkin. You also get over $82 in additional merchandise, which is all of the five new ink color stamps. So the, um, the ink pads, you get the Stampin' Right markers in the ink colors. You get the designer series paper in the ink colors and you get the card stock. It is an amazing deal. So the link is out on my website, jenscreativestampers.com as well as the Club, Club Create link to register. So um, again, you can go ahead and register for the Club Create as well, and I'll ship it right to your door, okay? So all of, the, all of the information is out on my website if you have any questions, or you can ping me. I'm available anytime. So with that, I'm gonna point you down. We're gonna get started, and I'm excited to show you this. So 
let me go here. All right. So hopefully you can see my catalog. This is Take to the Sky Suite, which is all on this page. And everything here is the stamp set, the dies, the trinkets that I'm giving to you as well, and the designer paper. So everything here is $74 if you wanted all of it. Or you could go ahead and get the half pack of paper, the trinkets, and the linen thread from me. And that's going to be for $41 shipped to your house, okay? So I love this suite. Like I said, when I first saw it in Houston, I fell in love with it. Um, not because it's something that I normally would like, but because it was different. So I'm going to show you some projects that I've designed. And I hope that um, it inspires you and that you join, the, um, join my club. So the first card we are going to do, I need to do one other thing. Let me pause for a moment and bring up, I had technical difficulties getting on tonight, so now everything is cattywampus for me. Um, let me bring this up. Give me one second. And I will get this here. My, um, my PDF did not come back up here. Here we go. So again, with my Club Create, you're also going to get the PDF of all the instructions, which are awesome. Okay. Here we go. All right. Hopefully you guys can see me and hear me still. Yeah. Okay. So I just lost it. Here we go. Okay. So what we're going to do, this is the first card. So this is a different type of technique. I'm going to bring you over here and we're going to start with a piece of Mossy Meadow cardstock. All of your dimensions are going to be on your tutorial and I will include those and send those all over to you. Okay. Here we go. Okay, so this is a standard card base, right? So we're gonna go ahead and score this at four and a quarter. Get that down, get that there. And then what we are going to do is we are going to take this awesome paper that I have in the um, let me show you the paper pack. I've used almost this whole paper pack. It's fabulous. So you've got, here's like this a map in Mossy Meadow. I love that piece. I've used almost the whole thing. You've got this awesome sheet. Let me show you the full thing. Let's see, it's this one. Um, this. You've got all of these like tags. See all the tags down here? And you've got the, um, just these fronts here, which we're going to use that tonight. And then the back side is kind of like a map showing all the planes going around. This is like some of the metal pieces, some more mossy meadow. Look at this. Look at these clouds. I love this. So pretty. Pretty, masculine. I don't know. What do you say? Handsome? I don't know. It's, I like it. Uh, it's different. There's a full sheet of that. And that's my favorite sheet, I think, in the whole thing. So what we're going to do is we are going to also work with this. This is, um, so this is like a textured kind of metallic paper. And you get like this tungsten, I think it's called, for like the propellers and stuff. You get gold and you get, um, so that is also going to come in your kit some of that paper. So let me grab this one sheet. Where did it go? And we are going to cut this out. Now this is a little technique that I have for this first card. 
I've used almost this whole pack and it's so discombobulated. Okay, there it is. Um, all right. So we're going to take this piece here and we're also going to take some of the basic white and we will grab this paper. Okay. Yes. So here we go. You ready? Hopefully you guys can see that in your window there. So we are going to take the mossy meadow and we are going to trim this down. Okay. So we've got, I should have cut all this before, but I was wanting to give you guys the, the feel of the card by doing this together. So, um, We're cutting these in one inch strips. Okay. And then, keeping those in order. So you can do this technique with any other type of, even like a landscape kind of, um, like some kind of a pictorial kind of like landscape design um, on your designer paper. And that will make it so that you can do the same technique. Okay. I'm just going to cut an extra one just to make sure that I have enough. All right. As I was saying earlier, if you guys came out to our pop-up yesterday, it was great to see you, and we had a lot of fun, and it was hot. It was really hot. Um, okay, I did forget one thing. Let me get this. So in your kit, you're going to get some adhesive, um, adhesive sheets for this here we go and it comes like this right so you will get this in your kit and how we're going to do this is we're going to create a an essential component to where you are able to easily take this cool technique and transfer it right to your card front okay so i'll show you Take my basic white. All right. Okay. All right, and I've got my adhesive sheet cut to the same size as my basic white. We'll put that aside and we'll do that in a minute. You want to take your grid paper. This is where your grid paper is your friend. And I'm going to use the um, paper to where I'm going to line this up. Okay. So you can't see it here, but I actually added some like tape runner here. Okay. Got these all in order. Just going to line them up on the grid here. Okay. How's your guys' Sunday? Hey, Cassie, good to see you. Hey, Maggie, good to see you. How's everybody doing today? Okay, so we take that. Hope y'all are all well. So we take our white pieces. We're gonna actually weave these in. Oh, that didn't work very well, did it? Let me get another piece of white. Um, I think I screwed that up. I didn't cut it long enough. So we're just gonna recut some more. That's part of being a crafter is we fix our mistakes, right? I'm going to make this right for you guys because this is a really cool, I love the technique. 
Um, and that's not lost because I will be using those for sentiments, right? That's how we do it. Um, so let me cut a few more. I do love that. Yeah, Marielle, it's it's um it's different, right? The DSP in this bundle is very different. I love it. I just I loved it when I first saw it. So you're gonna get these in your kit, and they're all gonna be the same size. Um, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna line this up just like this, and you're gonna go under, over, under, over. And we're gonna put it all the way at the tippy tippy top. Okay. And then we're gonna go under, over, under. And we're gonna push it all the way up to the other basic white. And it kind of becomes like a weave. Isn't that cool? Make sure that's all straight. That's why we have our grid paper here. I don't know if you can actually see it on the screen, but it is exactly straight, okay? And then I'm gonna go the opposite way. So I'm gonna go under here, over, under, and over. Again, lining that up. I don't care about how long it is. It, that doesn't matter. Um, what does matter is that we have this whole effect, right? And so it's under and over and it's woven in. Now what we're gonna do, let me measure this really quick. So we've got here, okay, so we are good. We're good on that. So before I remove this, I'm actually gonna take this and peel it back and I'm going to glue these down on the designer paper on the edges to hold everything together, okay? Just giving it a little bit of pressure on each one of these. You can get underneath here. And that gives a really cool technique. I had never done this before. Y'all may have done this, but I have not. So it was really fun. Um, I just find it's easier to do the gluing before you take it up. Okay, so there's that. All right, so now we've given that a minute to glue down. We have our basic white and our adhesive sheets. You guys use adhesive sheets before? They make like a, a huge sticker, right? To whatever you're sticking it to. And they have the three panels. Can you see? So one I've taken off. You see how shiny it is. There's the second one here and the third one here. So I am just going to adhere this down to our basic weight. Just on that first panel, right? I don't want to become a sticky mess. So I do it in strips so it's manageable. Take the second one off here. Get my finger on it. Peel it off. And I'll stick that down. Okay. And then the third one, do the same thing. The main thing is when you're cutting this adhesive sheets, do not get it bigger than the paper you're sticking it to because Chances are you're probably running it through the die cutting machine and you do not want to get that all over your plate. I don't know how you would get that off. That would be a hot mess. So just make sure that's a, that's a pro tip, right? Okay, so we have that now. So we've got this contact paper on and this is our basic white. So what I'm gonna do, got it even on my fingers already. So I'm gonna take the other side of the um, adhesive sheet, I'm gonna peel it back, all right? And this is just in one sheet now. I'll show you what we're gonna do. So I'm peeling it back, taking that. Now this whole thing is sticky now, right? 
see it won't even get off my finger and I am going to peel this up so I got it stuck to my finger again peel this up here okay so they like take it right off and it's still together because we've already glued it that's another pro tip all right so I'm going to lay this down straight on here and that sticky is going to stick right to our designer paper and our woven white pretty cool and I'm just going to come in here with some paper snips and I'm just going to level that off. Cut all that sticky off. And throw that very easily in the trash. I don't want a sticky mess. Okay. You guys with me? You guys seen this before? Okay. So that is what we're going for. So now all of these pieces are all stuck together and it's got this nice firm backing, okay? So we can actually cut this down to the size that we want. So I'm gonna probably cut this down to three and three quarters. Seems to be a good size where that's nice and balanced, right? And I'm going to adhere this on with dimensionals. And then I will show you how to use that awesome sheet. There's two sheets of it in the um, in this paper pack. It's awesome. So there's those two sheets here. Let's see if we get it again. We got this one. This one and then there's a whole nother one. Where did it go? <laughs> Well, I don't know why, but it's not coming up here. So this sheet right here, right? And so what I did is I cut this one out of the other piece. So I'll do that here again. Simply, all you're doing, so how I, can you see this here, the whole sheet? See how this aligns all the way across? This one also aligns all the way across. So I'm gonna cut it out like that. So I just line this up on the track of my paper trimmer. And that comes up to four inches, right? So I'm just gonna cut along there, and I have those, and then I'm gonna also cut along here, which is also four. Okay. And then I can literally, it looks like I didn't cut that 100%, it's okay. Um, I'm going to cut this mossy meadow out to match our card front. Cut that little off. Okay, so that's how I did it and that's where I got it from. So super easy and what a great way to make extra card fronts, right? So simple. So for this, I'm going to literally... I'll just line this up. Actually, I might kind of do it at an angle. I don't know. Let's see. What do you guys think? Kind of do it off a little bit. Like that. What I did though, I'll show you, is I took my linen thread. I'm almost out of linen thread. I've got, I use it all the time. So it's curly. So you just take your fingernail, right? And just straighten it out. So what I've done is I took my linen thread and doubled it over, okay? And then I tied it. Now you're going to say, Jen, uh, guys don't like bows. Yeah, I know. I know they don't. Um, but this is a little trick. 
you actually get your bow, your little ears, bunny ears, or whatever you want to call them, your loops, right? And um, I take my, hey, Sarah, hey, Anna, hey, Christina, thanks for watching. So this is a, a uh, trick. I thought it was kind of different. So I made a bow, right? I cut my tails. Y'all are with me, just like a normal bow, right? Can you guys see here? And then what I did is I literally, I pulled these tight to where they're just a little, they're not too big, and I cut my bow. I cut my ears like that. And then I literally matched up my little tails and cut those to size as well, okay? And what I did, I don't know, maybe this is crazy, but I kind of thought this could emulate like this, almost like a propeller that's going around and around and around really fast, and created that thinking, that was kind of cool. So I'm taking my glue dot, and I'm going to stick it in a ball on the front of that plane, and I'm going to stick my linen thread down. I'm going to trim it to it's like it's a propeller kind of spinning around right and that is the way I created that this I'm going to stick to the bottom here where it kind of comes off of the page and then I'm going to also dimensional this down actually before I do that let me I forgot to stamp it of all the things right flying by to say hi so again this is the adventurous guy love these sentiments and these images these line images they're like action line images I think they're so awesome so I'm going to use the memento black and I'm just going to ink this up. I've started storing my memento black, you guys, upside down. Reason is because the ink goes to the top of the surface and it seems to really make a difference. So I'm gonna stamp this right side up here, flying by to say hi, give it some pressure and lift off. And now I'm going to adhere my two dimensionals that are stuck to my fingers. What do you guys think about that propeller? And that is your first card. Okay, no bling necessary, right? It's just super simple and how quick and easy is that? So that is your first card. Here was the one that I created originally. Now, again, when I give you your cut images um, for your club create, you're gonna have this full size. I don't know what happened here. It wasn't the right size, but it's okay. It's good for the video, right? But yours will have the full card front like this. That way you can hear it flat and straight. This is just giving you a variation. Okay. Got it. Now let's pull up the next card. Let me get my dimensions up here. All right, so card number two. I think you're going to love it. I love it anyway. It is this card. Happy birthday. This will go for any guy in your world, whether it's your husband, your dad, a friend, a neighbor, whatever. So the designer series paper, we're letting it do the work for us. That's exactly what it's supposed to do. So what we're going to do, I'll put this right up here and you can see that we have all of the components already here. I've cut out the cloud out of the die. I have stamped, where's it going? This way, it flies right side up, not upside down. The only thing that we need to do is to go ahead and cut the designer paper. Now, again, in your kit, you're gonna have the half a pack of this paper. You can do whichever paper you want. 
So it is totally up to you, which is why I give you the paper to make the choice yourself, okay? So I'm going to use the same ones that I used um, on the original card and got my paper scored and folded in half. This is Night of Navy, okay? And then I'm going to bring my paper trimmer back and I'm going to use this one as my background and um, just cut that down to size. That looks way big. Why is that larger? Let's see here. Oh yes, okay. So what I did, this one, we're gonna do this one a little bit different. Okay, so this one's gonna be, so this one is five and a quarter. We're gonna just do the base like this, like a normal card front, right? And then we have these here and make sure I cut everything the right way. Okay, looks like I designer paper. Okay, so here. Okay. get these here for you Again, you'll have all of these measurements here it's already written out for you I'm ready to go it's just um, should have cut everything ahead of time and I didn't that's okay that gives you more of kind of what how to do it yourself right so I'm doing this got these all cut and these all go together did I screw that up let's see yep yep like that okay it's got a tiny 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 little border when I'm doing this what I like to do is to line up can you guys see that okay line up the top and the bottom first and that's how I adhere them down and then I will lay out the centerpiece so I can see exactly how it's going to go down okay so then I start gluing, you can use whatever type of glue you like. So here's this one. And this one, to me it makes it a lot easier when you just lay it out. you guys um, haven't subscribed to uh, my newsletter you can do that over on my website jenscreativestampers.com I would appreciate it and follow me and share me with your friends I love being able to inspire more people and just share what I love and hopefully encourage more people right just bring more joy Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to layer that on some Night of Navy. And I'm actually going to pop this up. And did I get that one all the way? No. Okay. And also, just while there's the downtime here, putting this together, I will mention June 22nd, I have my next event. It's to go and in person. It's a super Saturday. There's four classes. You choose which you want to attend. So super fun. And... Um, lots of good stuff it's all products you're going to get a ton of stuff so that is exciting um but i encourage you to sign up for that that's available on facebook
and I have the link out there. So there's that. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we are going to take our linen thread again. I'm straightening it as I'm pulling it off of this spool. It's almost it's the very end. You're gonna get a whole spool of this. All right, and again, just to kind of give it an extra dimension, I'm gonna start here on the top. You can see there's a little bit left on top here. And what I wanna do is just wrap it around and then I'm going to tie it in a knot, but I'm gonna tie it where this is covering it. Okay, I just wanna give that dimension, not do a bow, nothing frilly, right? This is a manly card, y'all. So we gotta stick with the manliness. A knot, some rope, <laughs> right? Like some, some male aspects here. Sometimes it's hard for us, it is for me anyway. All right, so I'm going to just tie that and then I'm going to knot it. Tie it back around. Holding it down. It's hard when it's the end of the spool here and it likes to kind of curl. And then I'm just going to cut this off. Okay? And then you can literally see how it kind of loosened up a little bit. Just spread it out a little bit. It gives it some cool angles looking there. And I'm going to glue this down. Okay. Okay. Lay that over top. The even border all the way around. I'm going to dimension all this as well again. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to just glue this straight down. And this will go right over top of the linen thread. And this is centered. That covers up that knot that we just tied. That is so cool. Isn't that great? Love that. Okay. Now what we're going to do is I have some of my um, blends out here, which I love these blends. So I'm going to move this over and just real quick, I'm going to show you some techniques on this that I recommend. So I've got, um, what do I have here? I have basic black for the tires. I have the night of Navy and I also have um, misty moonlight. And then I grabbed the um, the gray smoky slate, okay. And then I also did pull out the um, light pebble path because I liked the dimension that it gave. So I'll show you what I did. All right. So um, to start off, I started with the light misty moonlight. No, I didn't. It was the um, light night of navy. Where's the light night of navy? Here it is. It's basic black. Here's. Light Night of Navy. Okay, so I colored in just these wings, right? And I went right over top of kind of where that propeller is spinning around and colored all of that in. And I'm using the bullet end. Okay. And it takes on that ink very, very easily. So it's a bi-wing plane. So I'm just coloring in the second wing on the bottom. Okay. All right. So there's that. And then I took the light smoky slate and colored in that silver kind of front of the plane, as well as I started kind of going around where the propeller actually spins, right? And I'm coloring all of this in. Even over the blue, all of it. 
right? Because that's in front of the whole plane, okay? And then what I did is I took my dark, no, I didn't. I took my pebbled path, the light pebbled path, and I actually colored the body of the plane. I just felt like this looked better when I was designing this. It seemed to give a better contrast. Okay. So there's that and I'm gonna actually color the front part of the body of the plane but I do it last because I want to go back in with my color lifter do you guys ever use this so what I'm doing is I'm kind of it sounds silly right I'm taking some of the ink off as well as on that blue area that I just did on the light night of navy you probably hear it kind of giving it some pressure here the reason is because I want that to look a little bit lighter because it's like that that propeller is spinning in front of it so it should have a color variation in my mind so that's what I'm doing same thing here on the light smoky slate kind of blends it all right and then I'm going in with the dark smoky slate and I'm going to give it some of that detail on those action lines or whatever you call that I guess like action lines kind of becomes more apparent where the action is I guess right Okay, and then I'm going to come in with that um, pebble path again, and I'm just going to go over some of these lines on the plane. Again, just giving it that detail. Love that. And then the dark night of navy. That is misty moonlight. Dark night of navy. I'm going to do the same thing for the wings. And this is where it really kind of starts to pop. So I'm just doing like little dashes and I'm following the guidance of the stamp that's here. Okay. You see that? And then I'm taking my light basic black and I'm going to go over these tires just the wheels for the tire and then the dark smoky slate I'm going to do these I guess you call that the landing gear so it comes down and kind of go over that to give it some more dimension Lastly, there's the light night of navy. This looks very light to me, but it is. And I'm going to color in just this little line here that kind of goes between the two of them. Because that should be part of the wing, right? And there we go. So, we have that. What do you guys think can you tell like it kind of looks like it's spinning I think a lot of it has to do with this color lifter so super cool um, kind of cool look there to it and so I'm gonna get my die and I'm gonna take this off and run it through line it up. I know you can't see this. You'll see it on the other side. There we go. Okay. Put that 
off to the side there. All right, so now that we have our airplane, we also have our cloud. We are going to stamp happy birthday. Again, this could be for any man in your world. That's why I love this. Okay, we're gonna get Knight of Navy. Get these out of the way. Okay, I like the font on this happy birthday too. It's very simple. Very easy to read. Okay, so we've got that. We will take these awesome um, trinkets. You guys seen these? You're gonna get a whole pack of these. These are pretty awesome. So on one side, they kind of look like little like, can you see them? One side, they kind of look like in the center of a propeller, and on the other side, they're like a little bolt or something. So I'm going to take one, and I'm going to adhere it where I can apply it to the end of that airplane, to the center of that propeller, and then I'm going to attach it with dimensionals to the front of the card. I'm gonna cut out where my scissors are. Got some here. Some of these small ones on the side. Oop. Okay. You guys like this card? Super easy, right? I'm gonna kind of put it to where it's flying up into the sky. And there I'm gonna attach this happy birthday flat to the card front. Like it's flying above the clouds. Happy birthday. Hey, Amy. Good to see you. Thanks for watching. And that is card number two. So you can see the detail on the background of the linen thread. It's just a little bit, but that's all we need. Okay. So there's that one. Let's see about card number three. Card number three is this one right here. So this one uses the Cloud DSP and a banner. So let's go ahead and make this. All right. So this one, we have the elements. I've got this this propeller's already cut out of that tungsten I told you, that, that metallic paper. You're going to get some to cut that out for yourself as well. And we are going to score this in half. There we go. And this is boho blue is what this color is. It's one of the colors in the suite. Love that. And, okay, we've got the Knight of Navy. I've already got the DSP cut for it. Just lay that down. Super fun and sweet, right? Like sweet and simple. That's what we love. Going to put dimensionals. These are very, very replicatable, very easy to duplicate. That's my mission. Okay. Line that 
up in the middle. Get the higher a little bit. Love those blues together, don't you guys? Love that. This is going to be flagged as a banner. You're going to cut it up to center as deep as you want. And then you're going to cut over. Okay. And we're going to glue that down here. I love this designer paper, you guys. This is so pretty or handsome or whatever. <laughs> All right, so there's our card, the start of our card. We are going to stamp this and we are going to stamp in, flying by to say hi. And we're gonna use the Knight of Navy on Misty Moonlight paper. Okay, and then we will fussy cut that out, and then we will also go ahead and do our, here we go, we'll take this piece, that die, and the die for the plane, I already have a propeller, so we're good there. And so we will use the body of the plane. We'll cut that out of the um, smoky slate. And then the airplane body here will be cut out of Knight of Navy. So bring this over. Back in here, you guys can see. So I just load this all up together, right? Stick it on there and run it through. Okay. It sticks to my cutting plate here. All right. We got that. It's stuck in there. And then here's the body, right? Okay. And so then literally these little pieces, it just didn't pop all the way. Usually when I flick it like that, that just makes them all come out, <clears throat> but not tonight. Almost all of them. Okay. Right? So I'm gonna take my adhesive I would advise probably either fine tip glue or something like your um, your adhesive like this to where you can actually have more control. Just a little bit around those wheels. And then layer it over. So the tail lines up. wheels line up and then the front lines up perfect okay you guys like that and then put just a little bit of adhesive here on the end of this where this propeller goes and it literally fits right over it like that isn't that so cute? So fun. All right. So then, oops, I did forget one thing. I did forget to stamp our clouds. So I'm going to do two different clouds here. There's several options in this stamp set. So there's a big one and a little one. Okay. Where did my block go? 
this. Okay, and I'm going to use the Misty Moonlight here. Go here. And do my clouds there. Okay. Take my die. There's one for each, so it's easy. This even has like little banners that you can pull behind your airplane. So fun, so cute. Love that. Okay, so these will go there. Bring my machine back in here. Line those up. These I always put back in as soon as I get them off the machine because it will get lost. Okay. Alrighty. So there we go. Now we're ready. And the last thing I'm going to do here is I'm just going to fussy cut around this. And again, it doesn't have to be anything spectacular. Just kind of give it the shape that you want it. And you are good to go. Okay. So then we're going to adhere it down with our dimensionals. And we are golden on this great airplane. Okay. There's that one. And then we're going to do it on the clouds as well. A small one on the little cloud. Cut that little piece off the side. Okay. This is down here. My clouds have some room to go in at the top. So this little guy is going to come down here. I'm going to go behind there. I'm going to glue this one flat. Sentiment. Flying by to say hi. And then I'm going to add two of these awesome industrial trinkets. I love these so much. Just think they're really cool. There's one. Here. They're very different, that's for sure. I like different. And then the other one down here. Okay. So there is your third card. Do you guys like that? See how that kind of picks up the shine? These are awesome. This is my original one. Hopefully you like that one. All right. And the last card is a fun fold. I like this. This is a great card. Okay, clean this up a minute. So this one is all my pieces here. So this one is a Father's Day card. And you can see I use that Tungsten um, paper. And then I used just some um, gray granite, or this was smoky slate, I think. And you open it up, and you have your full open card this way. Cool, huh? All right, so let me show you how to do it. So you are going to get all of your pieces. You'll have to cut your own plane and your own stamps and do all that stuff. Um, so here we go. This is um, copper clay, and it's one of the colors that is um, that coordinates with this 
with this bundle, okay? You punch these out here. Okay. okay, there we go. Don't want those to get hung in there when I glue it down. That would not be good. I think that's good. Okay, so I'm going to put some glue here behind that and on the tail again. So awesome. Okay, and then... I glued these together first. Put this one on top of this one. Do it like that so it kind of overlaps more where it matches. Okay, and then glue it down. So fun. This you have to hold it for a minute because of the um, the foil. All right, and then so we've got that settled. We will put our card together. So again, you're going to get all of these measurements and all these pieces. You'll get the whole bunch of designer paper to choose from. And you are going to, let me pull up my tutorial here, <clears throat> and you will have this also. So we are going to score this two different places, and then we will actually use this as the center of our card. Don't cut it, not like I lifted. Okay, so you've got that. Okay, so literally just unfold that, and then we will put adhesive on the outside of this flap, okay. So when you get your, your kit, so you're doing it like this. Does this help? And you're taking, excuse me, you're taking this flap and you're going to adhere it right in the center. So again, this is what you got. Going down with that flap, putting it right in the center of that copper clay paper, okay? And then what you're going to do is you're going to take it and put adhesive and you're going to line this up almost like you're building a sandwich, right? Kind of putting it just like that. Okay, you want that all to be flush. And then it opens like that. Okay? So this is your front. This is your back. You have a piece of designer paper that's going to go in the back. And it's going to align right in the center here. You just glue that down flat. Okay, here we go, like that, and we will attach this to this, put this on, you guys like this card, I think this is fun, very easy fun fold. Gives it a nice border with the designer paper. Let the paper do the work for you, right? Okay. Then you have 
the card front. Super simple. Okay. All right, now we're going to do, so we're going to do some stamping. We are going to first adhere this down so that we can get, get some space allocation for our sentiment. Here we go. Oh, stuck to me. So going this way like that. Okay. So what we're going to do is I went ahead and took some masking paper and you can do this too. And I took the, um, the largest, uh, cloud and so I'm going to load this on my block. Okay. Just like that. And I'm going to do this by opening the card flat and that allows me to stamp on the white, take the misty moonlight, I'm going to go down in the ink and I'm going to stamp right here in the middle. And then I'm going to mask it off by die cutting the clouds out of the masking paper. Okay. And then I can literally stamp over that, that side and stamp over it on this side. And then you take off your masking paper. And it looks as though the clouds are behind each other. It's kind of cool. So it's called the masking technique. We have the masking paper to do that. So, um, okay. Then what we are going to do is we are going to stamp Happy Father's Day. And you will always, uh, let's see here. Here it is. You're the best, plain and simple. Okay. Take that off. Put this on. Do this first. You're the best, plain and simple. Again, in, well, I think I did Night of Navy. You'll want to do Night of Navy on this because it's a little bit darker. This is on this is um misty moonlight, so you'd want to stamp on a darker ink pen. Okay. So you're the best, plain and simple. And then you're gonna get a piece of basic white in your kit, and you're gonna stamp. Happy Father's Day or happy birthday or whatever you want, right? So there's that. And we're going to cut this down. So I, I'm giving you a bigger piece than what you actually need because you can make it what you want. So literally, I'm just going to trim this off because I just need a little bit. I'm going to trim off the top as well. Okay, and then I'm going to banner this and again, corner up to the center, corner up to the center. Okay, there we go. And I will adhere this with dimensionals. Couple should do it. And I'm going to add this here, kind of down a little bit from the border. And then take, oops, take these trinkets 
and I'm going to adhere it with the flat side down. There you go. And that is your fourth card. Open that up. There we go. Super fun. There's the original one I did. The double propeller on it, a little bit different than we've done in the past. So there is that. Lay these out here. There's the fourth one. There's the third one. Let me just do the singles. There's the third one. The second one. And the first one. Okay. Put that in the screen if you want to take a snapshot of that. Pull it over here. All right. Allow you to get a snapshot. It's good to go. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, this is the June Club Create. Um, you just need to subscribe by the 15th of the month. Um, and the link is actually on my face or my um, my website, jenscreativestampers.com. Everything is there for you. It tells you exactly what you're getting. Don't forget about the um, awesome special that Stampin' Up! has right now for us, and that is joining um, our team. You're going to get a ton of benefits. Again, that's all on my webpage as well. We would love to have you, and I um, think you would really be blessed by our group and just have a lot of fun, tons of creativity. Um, and then June 22nd, I have my next uh, Super Saturday happening. It is to go and in person. It's going to include four classes. You can do one, three, all four, whatever you want. Um, everything is out there for you. It's going to be a lot of fun. And I uh, look forward to having that time with you. So thanks again for watching. Hope you all have a great week. And um, I will see you next Sunday. Bye-bye. Thanks again.